Tesla Armor Glass. What is it? How is it made? And what went wrong at the Cybertruck unveiling? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. So as we get started with this video, I want to take a moment and I want to actually have Elon Musk tell you in his own words, based on two presentations that he gave. One is the semi-truck unveiling, where he described the Tesla glass as a thermonuclear explosion-proof glass. And then the second was at the most recent tr Cybertruck event where he described the glass as transparent metal glass. This is both referring to the Tesla armor glass that we're going to be talking about in this video. Here are those two clips. And this is the feature I like best, thermonuclear explosion proof glass. <laughs> Close. I mean, it's close. So standard glass. Now, now why is this important? Because, uh, uh, see, look, nothing. Um, survived a nuclear explosion. That's incredible. So the, 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 actually, what's important here is, uh, but nuclear, survives a nuclear explosion, or you get a full refund. <laughs> okay. Full refund. But what, what about the glass? It seems like a vulnerability. <laughs> yeah. Transparent metal glass. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so if you watched the Tesla Cybertruck unveiling, you know that there were a lot of interesting things, a lot of surprises with the styling. But one of the most newsworthy and the things that caught a lot of media attention was, of course, them testing the armor glass on the Cybertruck and, of course, the windows breaking. Now, I do want to show you footage from that unveiling of the successful demo, and so I'm going to go ahead and play that now. Let's, uh, let's, let's show the glass demo. There you go. So f first, first, this is regular glass. This is like normal glass, car glass. I want to show you what happens with normal car glass. Shatters immediately with a, a little ball. Now I'll show you Tesla armor glass. Nothing. Yeah. But it, it's, 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 it's kind of a small ball, though. That's, it's, it's maybe like. Do it at a bigger height with a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's still, still doing it, I guess. Yeah, not bad. My bigger bowl. <laughs> yeah. So in that clip, you saw Elon Musk telling his assistants to drop the steel balls in the tube directly on, of course, the normal glass, which broke immediately, and then, of course, the armor glass, which took all the steel balls, even at a very high level, without cracking. Now, this is what actually happened when they tried to do this at a, in a live demo. <laughs> Franz, could you try to break this glass, please? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh my. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. Yeah. <laughs> Should we try in the rear? <laughs> Sorry? Okay. It didn't go through. Let's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the rear. Right? Try that one? Really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh man, it didn't go through. <laughs> now, after this went out, of course, the question circulated 
did they even test this beforehand? Why would they not test this and know if it worked or not before they did this live um, in the unveiling? But the answer was later given to us by Elon Musk, and he showed us footage of Franz actually before the event doing the exact same thing, throwing the steel ball at the window, and of course, it not breaking. And so this was something that was not supposed to happen. This was something they had tested before, and they were assured that it would not break during the demonstration. Now, I'm not going to go deeply into what went wrong and why it wasn't successful during the demonstration. There's a, several articles about that, and you can do some research there. But I feel like the short of it is possibly the uh, glass was weakened by some of the testing they did previously to it. And so when they actually did the live demo, it broke. Now, there's several articles I've read where they went into some math and they went into some physics, and that's not something I'm I'm really well versed in, so I'll leave that to the articles, but that's the basics on that unveiling. Now I want to talk about what is Tesla Armor Glass, what is it made of, and talk about its strength a little bit. So first of all, the strength of it. When the Tesla Semi came out, of course, that's the first we started hearing about the Tesla Armor Glass. And there was a Business Insider article of February of 2018, which I will link below if you're interested in the description of the video. And this particular article, one of the statements in it, talked about Mott Smith, which is one of the teams of people who were testing the glass. She was one of the engineers testing this glass, and it said that they hurled everything from rocks to shredded tires to tow hitches at sheets of Tesla glass, seeking to serve the requirements of truckers while preparing the semi to face countless problems on the road, both seen and unseen. So this was tested by throwing things at it even back in 2017 and when they were developing this process. So it's a very strong glass that they've had a lot of proof and they've had a lot of success throwing these heavy things at it. Now the real question though is what is it made of? And of course we're not 100% sure on this. There's no really clear evidence of exactly what it's made of, but we do know that as Elon mentioned, it's it's basically a metallic glass. And so that gives us some clues of what it may contain. And based on the research that I've done, it seems like it is most likely a, a product made of aluminum oxynitride. So if you look up the term transparent metal glass or you start doing searching like that, you come up with several, several articles. You also come up with a uh, wiki article. And then you also can connect with this company called Cermet. And they they make products with this aluminum oxynitride, which is composed of equal parts of aluminum, oxygen, and nitrogen, and it can actually be polished into a very, very strong glass like you see here in this picture. And um, from Wikipedia, it says that this aluminum oxynitride, or ALON, can be fabricated as windows, plates, domes, rods, tubes, and other forms using conventional ceramic powder processing techniques. And it talks about the composition can vary and the amount of aluminum in it. But I thought this was interesting. It said the grinding, the polishing of it substantially improves the impact resistance and other mechanical properties of the armor. And so that gives me some clues. And when Elon talks about it being a metallic glass and he talks about it that way, it makes me think that this is most likely what it is. Based on the research, based on what's out there, this seems like something they're making it out of, the aluminum oxynitride. And that would be my guess on this. The next question we have is who makes this glass? So I pulled up a Quora article and this guy who is, um, shows a little bit of credibility, and maybe he knows what he's talking about, maybe he doesn't, but he says, like their new unbreakable solar roof tiles, we think T Tesla makes their own glass. And of course, he gives kind of a quote there. And so it's possible that Tesla makes this glass themselves. It's also possible, based on a Barron's article that just came out a couple days ago, 11 22 of 19, that they claim that they believe, and of course they say this is just a guess, that the ga the glass is probably supplied by Peru-based AGP Glass, and they cite here that this is the same company that makes glass for the Model X. And I pulled up the AGP 
website and of course right there on their home page is the picture of the model x with their agp e-glass and their tech glazing solution so that seems like that's a possibility that they're using a technology that he has that um, aluminum oxynitride and that's possible that it's made by them or it's even possible once again that Tesla is making it themselves I found another article that would back up the first claim from the Quora article and this says and this is from an article that came out yesterday November 11th of 2019 and this claims that Tesla entered the glass technology business back in 2016 and has an internal group known as Tesla Glass. So I kind of lean towards the the uh, side that Tesla probably makes this themselves. They are either licensing some technology or they have developed their own technology. And I'm guessing that it is an aluminum-based glass and probably that aluminum oxynitride is probably what it's made out of. That's my guess on it. Well, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit from it. And I would love to hear from you. Um, did I miss anything about the Tesla armor glass? Is there other information that I was not able to find that you know about? And what do you think about the Tesla armor glass? Are you excited to have it in future vehicles? Leave that in the comments below. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you know when new videos are uploaded. Thank you so much.